Dr. Andrew Huberman have developed and tested a number of stress relieving techniques and also by using a special element we can actually leverage our stress as a superpower and use it to enhance our performance and thus achieve our dreams in 5 minutes we are going to learn this four research back real time tools of Andrew Huberman stress protocol acute stress is short term stress which can be like a burst of extra energy and focus which isn't always a bad thing but when they turn into chronic stress or long term stress it is very bad in one line the hpa axis produce cortisol when we are stressed high levels of cortisol literally shrinks our brain it deteriorates the part of brain responsible for our concentration decision making judgment and social interaction and the part of brain associated with learning new things making new memories and we even lose our ability to control stress itself also causes depression and alzheimers and they may even filter right down to our brain's dna but by doing these steps we can control it and act actually reverse the effect of stress first we must learn to reset our stress response for this we need a technique to ensure that the stress would not feel as overwhelming as it otherwise would and to increase our stress tolerance by using the wim hof breathing method we can deliberately induce acute stress states through rapid breathing by doing rounds of 30 to 40 fast full breaths we increase the oxygen intake and flood our body with adrenaline then what we have to do is stay calm and practice mental control by getting comfortable with this high stress state when there is a lot of adrenaline in our body we can also add cold exposure along with it i have added the full tutorial of wim hof's method in the description but now we need a practice that we can always use anywhere anytime psychological sigh huberman calls this the most thoroughly grounded method to calm down inhale rapidly or take a rapid double inhale where the second inhale is shorter then exhale slowly this restores us to baseline equilibrium the slow exhale reduce heart rate and blood pressure and also clears a lot of carbon dioxide in our system and our mind gets clear so the next time when you face an emotional storm take control of your breath the power is within us flow state is also called the state of effortless effort where we can unleash our peak performance and in our previous videos we have discussed how we can reach this state of insane focus and optimal performance we have discussed that to reach this state of insane focus and optimal performance we need to feel little bit of challenge in the task we are doing to use stress to unlock our sharp sense and peak performance for that we must understand the difference between fixed mindset and growth mindset people with growth mindset feel their skills and intelligence can be improved with effort and persistence and this mindset basically makes a person anti fragile makes us easily adaptable to change boost our performance which will help us to achieve all our dreams now the fastest way to build a growth mindset is to develop a stress is enhancing mindset Now there are two cognitive exercises that we can learn right now to develop this mindset faster. First exercise is to reframe that your mind is like a muscle. Next time you are doing a stressful task, instead of telling yourself I have reached my limits, tell yourself I am expanding my limits. Internalize the belief that just like we are stressing our muscles during workout to stimulate growth, we are embracing the stress of learning as the reward itself. In short, reinterpret your pain as gain itself. A concept that I personally use is to embrace the stoic concept of amor fati which makes us see all the challenges we face in our life as the elements that make it more adventurous and interesting second exercise is to start using verbs and stop using labels when you are praising or giving feedback to yourself or someone else for example from next time instead of identifying yourself as a label such as i am genius talented or i am gifted instead of that use verbs to frame that experience such as i succeeded because of my effort because of my practice or because of my persistence in order to adopt a growth mindset the same applies when we face a setback instead of telling yourself i am stupid or i am not talented tell yourself that i didn't prepare well or i didn't give it my 100% effort your word choice with praise and feedback is paramount reward the actions not the traits according to the research it is shown that just by watching a short tutorial or video like this one time can enhance our performance because the decision factor whether the stress will diminish or enhance our performance is mainly dependent on our belief and cognitive understanding of stress so congrats guys converting our stress and trauma as our wisdom and strength is actually a very old art that was even practiced by old stoic practitioners to learn how to become anti fragile using our stress watch this video